Hi, it's Elisa, resident foodie and hoarder. It's 30 days of Thanksgiving, and I just made these awesome looking potato dinner rolls. Alright y'all, I'm gonna go with another Noreen recipe today. <laughs> um, if I was gonna make dinner rolls for a Thanksgiving feast and actually not just throw in some brown and serve rolls, which is what I would probably actually do <laughs> if I was going to make some, I would do these potato dinner rolls that I am about to show you. So I am going to throw in to my stand mixer, I have my dough hook in, my sugar, and then warm water and yeast. I went ahead and let my yeast show me that it was good to go in the water because it was kind of old so I needed to make sure that it was a living thing. Yeah when I opened my fridge I discovered that I had two jars of yeast in there so I didn't realize that one was so old. And I'm just gonna blend this until combined. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna add the butter, mashed potato, eggs, and salt. Okay, there's the butter. Now I'm gonna add in the mashed potatoes, and these are just some potato flakes that I added water to. So I'm actually making this entire recipe, which makes three to four dozen rolls, and I am just gonna be saving some and freezing some. Here are the eggs, salt, I'm using Himalayan sea salt. You can use any type of salt that you want. Now we're just going to blend again until it's combined. Okay, y'all. So I'm just going to start adding in flour. I'm just using all-purpose flour here. And keep mixing. Here's two cups of flour. I just added in my third cup. Five. Six. The recipe says to put eight, but you know, I just never know how different my mashed potatoes are going to be from the mashed potatoes that were used in the recipe, so I don't know. But here's seven cups, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so my dough is still sticking to the sides a little bit, so I am going to continue to keep adding. I'm going to add another half a cup now. I mean, I can tell we are definitely getting close here, but you know, we should be. I'm about a cup off from what the recipe says, so... <laughs> Uh, it might have just been easier for me to go ahead and do the eight cups like the recipe says. <laughs> I was just afraid to do it without question. Okay, we are just barely, like barely sticking to the wall. So I'm going to call this a quarter cup here. I think that is going to do it. As I'm in here doing these rolls, I kind of check on the, all the quietness going on in here, and Reina has put the babies to sleep. Do you, do you want me to help you get out of there? Okay. So I'm going to turn this on and then drop just a tiny bit of oil down in there. That way it'll come out of the bowl nice and easy. Thinking I did not put quite enough, quite enough oil in there. No biggie. Just about got it all. <laughs> and I'm going to cover it and let it rise for about an hour. I'm just going to set it in a warm spot. Guys, I just pulled um, my dough out and, and it's huge. <laughs> I'm no bread expert, and so I really hope that this isn't like a total disaster. Anyway, and to be quite honest, I'm trying to remember what to do right now. If I, I'm just kind of going by memory that you want to kind of make sure that you get, if there's any air in there, that you get it out. I think I need to refer to my recipe. <laughs> so... I just pulled it out and put it on a clean surface that I have here. 
And I believe my next step is gonna be, I'm gonna start breaking these up into smaller pieces, as in the size of the rolls I'm wanting to make. And actually, I'm gonna weigh these. That way I don't have to worry about the sizes. So yeah, I'm gonna go, I don't have a kitchen scale, but I do have a postal scale, so I am gonna go get that. Does anybody else's parchment paper ever look as bad as mine? Like where it's all hanging off on one side and not at all on the other side? I don't know, maybe people cut theirs. Maybe I should start doing that. In Noreen's video, I heard her talk about doing like two and a half ounce pieces of dough, which I know to some might sound like super picky weighing your stuff, but it's gonna make it so much easier when it comes to uh, figuring out how done they're gonna be because I know me like I would have never done that had she not like literally suggested two and a half ounces I wouldn't have done that I would have put like the ones that looked big on this side and the ones that didn't on that side and I would have been forever checking back and forth on them <laughs> so um I'm actually glad she said it because I so yeah getting them at about two and a half is my goal so after I get several of these, I am going to do my best here to just, uh-oh, sounds like someone got hurt, to just kind of roll them like this. Oh, that doesn't look pretty at all. So you know what, guys? I've watched a couple of videos on how to form your rolls, and I'm not good at it. I'm just super pleased that mine are gonna be about all about the same size. I don't need them to look pretty, but I certainly would like them to be somewhat done in a uniform fashion. Mine look nothing like videos I've seen, uh, anybody's videos. Like I've watched a few videos of making rolls and mine are pretty ugly. But you know what? Maybe they'll turn out great. And then it will encourage you that even if yours look ugly, maybe yours will turn out great too. I'm pretty sure that no matter how they look, that they're still gonna taste good. Oh, something else that, something else that I just remembered that I needed to say is I don't have any oil or any, um, any more flour on here. You don't want to do that. So don't add any flour to your, dough that you have. Okay y'all, so I did figure out that if I just put down a little bit more pressure <laughs> that they come out a lot better looking. So this second tray is going to, the second baking sheet is going to look a little better <laughs> than the first one and I'm not redoing the first ones. I don't care. <laughs> These are the ones that I hadn't really figured it out yet, and then these are the ones that look a little better where I started doing it a little better. That was when I realized that I needed to put more pressure. I just sprayed those down with some cooking spray, and I'm going to cover them and let them sit for another 30 minutes or so. Okay guys, I'm about to put these in the oven. I have my oven, actually I just turned it on to preheat. I am gonna go ahead and allow it to preheat completely to 350. And I wouldn't say that these doubled in size, but they did get a little bit big. So these are gonna go in for, I'm gonna check them at 15 and see how they're doing. Hoping for the best here. I don't know, I think they're gonna turn out awesome. Look at them, they're so beautiful. I've made dinner rolls. I have never made dinner rolls like this. <laughs> I mean, I've made I've made summer rolls before, but I mean, they're drop rolls. And so I've never made like pretty fancy rolls like this. Okay, so the ones up here on the left, those, uh, first off, they're super hot, like they just came out. These are the ones that I hadn't really figured out how to roll them yet. But then these over here that have the more kind of rounded, pretty look, those are the ones that I had figured out how to do them. And so they look like a decent size, so in my opinion, I think that they did rise enough. So anyway, I'm going to brush these with butter and then continue to let them cool. 
And then we'll have, I believe I'll have Raina try them out. And if not, I will. Just uh, go ahead and pick one. I, yeah, one close to you, please. And go ahead and take a bite. You can open it if you want, whatever. Or just bite. <laughs> Is it good? I mean, I they look fantastic. These are good. So does that taste like just a, a good roll to eat with? dinner good deal it's also a perfect size to for me to cut open and to make like a sandwich with right mm -hmm. yeah okay so guys i made the full recipe of these so that i could freeze some and save for later these are amazing you have to make these one more time one more time i can probably make them one more time it was my first time to make them they turned out pretty good huh mm -hmm. yeah do you want to taste them yeah I will taste one. Thank you. You like it? Mm-hmm, I do. They're really good. They're Actually, they're just, man, they're going to be perfect. They're perfect for what I want them for. I'm wanting to use them later for a leftover Thanksgiving recipe. Okay, don't do that. No water. Recipe where you have, like, turkey and dressing and cranberry inside, kind of like a sandwich. I'm going to have the link to this recipe below, and I really appreciate you joining me. Don't forget to check out the links to the other participants participating in the 30 Days of Thanksgiving down below in the description box. Go take a look at their channels and like and subscribe to their videos as well. I really appreciate you. Thanks for watching, and join me tomorrow for another great recipe. Bye! I think I want some honey on it. Me too. Lots and lots of these. They help protect their flower bees. And then they take it back to their hives and give their people and their babies for the queen bee. <laughs> and the bee that make the honey. I got worker bees. Okay, babe, I'm turning the camera off, okay? I have one more thing to say. What? The queen bee has her babies on her legs. These <laughs> are amazing! <laughs> now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, okay, don't touch them all, okay? 10, 11, 12, okay. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off, okay? Okay. But first, I need something else to tell you. What? Guys, I love all of you. <laughs> I love one more. Okay, we'll have one. That was nice of you to say, though, that you love them. <laughs>